So being an orthopedic surgeon, I've been asked to break down the Tiger Woods injury. So let's go over the information that we do know uh, of what's been released. So the UCLA trauma team has released news that he was in a very serious single car accident. Car, they show pictures, the car is flipped over. Uh, I read that he was extricated from the car, basically had to be cut out of the car. The specific injuries that they do mention are that he had comminuted and open injuries to the proximal and distal aspects of his tibia and multiple foot and ankle injuries that required surgery. So let's break those down little by little. So uh, the tibia bone is the leg bone that's underneath the femur bone and the, and the patella or the kneecap and it composed of two bones, the tibia and the fibula. And the fact that he had comminuted injuries, that means that they were crushed um, the fact that they were open injuries means that the bone was sticking out of the skin. So that's very concerning. They mentioned that those were stabilized uh, with a surgery by placing a rod down the middle of the tibia. So we call that an intramedullary rod or within the bone, almost like a, a shish kebab. Um, the fact that it was comminuted and open is very concerning. That means it was very high energy. And they also mentioned that he needed to have a surgery to release the pressure on the covering of the muscle. So the, our muscles have a white layer of tissue called the fascia that uh, envelopes them. And if the muscle is crushed or injured enough, what happens to muscle is it, it bleeds and it starts to expand. However, if that fascia is constricting it, then that muscle has no more room to expand and it can actually start to lose blood supply and die or, or or we see necrosis. So the surgeons did a fasciotomy where they cut the top, so they had to make an, a large incision down the center of the, usually on the sides of the leg, where they cut the skin, and they also cut that white fascia layer so the muscle can then expand. And what we see on these very traumatic injuries of these, um, especially the lower leg or the tibia, is we see massive expansion of the muscle coming out of the leg. And so what's concerning about that is two things. One, the fact that it was open, and the fact, again, that it was comminuted or crushed means it was very high energy, and it required those fasciotomy procedures. So the fact that it was open and the fact that he had those fasciotomies, he's gonna be at a very increased risk of developing an infection of the legs. It's very concerning. Um, usually when we do that fasciotomy procedure, it's an emergency. Um, to save the muscle so it doesn't lose that blood supply and, ca and cause necrosis. But what happens is we make these incisions in the fascia and the skin and we leave them open usually for a week or two or several weeks sometimes, depending on how swollen that muscle is. So Tiger Woods likely has these va vacuum type devices that are covering these large holes in his leg right now. And it also means that he's probably gonna have to undergo multiple surgeries to wash out that muscle um, and to make sure that they're gonna, the surgeons are gonna be looking for muscle necrosis, see if any muscle actually has to be cut out because it is necrotic. Um, so I, I foresee several weeks of repeat uh, trips and repeat surgeries to wash that muscle and to inspect it very closely. Usually that swelling of that muscle will come down as the weeks go on. Um, however, a lot of times, that those, those large incisions will require a skin graft or t some other type of graft procedure. This is very similar to what Alex Smith had um, for the football injury uh, with, with Kansas City. So we take skin from somewhere else, usually the, the upper thigh, and once that leg has calmed down enough and the muscles have deflated, we, we cover up that gap there with that skin so we can get some type of closure. But again, he's gonna be at a very, very high, risk or concern of getting an infection. Multiple surgeries down the line, I foresee over the next couple several weeks. Moving down to his foot and ankle, they discussed that he it was stabilized with screws and pins, so most likely he had uh, foot and ankle fractures and the uh, surgeons made incisions and fixed everything with plates, and, plates screws, or pins. Um, but for me, the most concerning thing is the fact that it was one, an open fracture of the tibia and again, the comminution, which tells us that crushing is a very high energy injury, which also makes sense that they needed to do that fasciotomy procedure to release the tension, or I'm sorry, the pressure on the muscles. That tells us that he's gonna have open incisions that need to remain open for that muscle to breathe, probably has large wound vacs on his leg, and is gonna require repeat 
irrigation debridements or washing out of the muscle and making sure that there's no necrotic tissue. Very, very concerning injury. Um, so again, to recap, I think he's gonna have several weeks of surgeries coming up to wash out these large fasciotomy procedures. Uh, it sounds like the tibia already has been stabilized by placing a rod down that bone and the, hopefully the foot and ankle um, injuries have been stabilized with placing screws. So from a hardware perspective, hopefully we're all done, but I think the big story here is gonna be what's gonna happen with that soft tissue. Are we gonna be able to dodge an infection, which is of the utmost concern with the open injuries and the fact that he has these large incisions that have to probably remain open for several weeks. So hopefully he can avoid an infection. Be one, he's in very good hands at UCLA, the trauma center. Um, but it's going to be a very difficult road for Tiger Woods. I would say, you know, if everything goes perfectly, I would still see probably several weeks of surgeries with multiple surgeries. Um, I think best case scenario, you know, if he can get a skin graft done within the next month, but um, that's if he can avoid a complication like an infection. And then we don't know the status of, you know, the neurovascular structures either. So. If he had a crush injury, you know, was there a nerve injury? Does he have a foot drop or is there some kind of a, a nerve concern? So um, very concerning for Tiger Woods. Um, and then once all those surgeries done, obviously gonna be a very long road of physical therapy, but um, very concerning. If we get any more updates, I'll, I'll, make, I'll try to release another video, but that's what we know so far.